29 dances and 11 eliminations. We're down to our final four. So I've recruited one of this series celebs to crunch the numbers. But who is it? I'm a step man. <laughs> Time for the road to the final. Oh my gosh, Richie Anderson, oh. everybody. <laughs> that was a workout, wasn't it? Good to be the sit down now, Janelle. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> Hello, welcome back to the show. Oh, thanks it's for having so me. It's so nice yeah, to have you. But you know what? You've been a contestant this series and you've been a viewer. What have you thought about it so far being such a huge Strictly fan? Strictly Come Dancing has been the best experience of my whole life. Honestly, I loved it. Yes, you were fantastic. Thank get you. some quick dances. Right, you've got some stats for us. Yes. So let's get started. Who are we cracking on with first? Well, I want to look at the overall number of points that okay. our finalists have won. So this is every single point they've been awarded. Bad breath in that dance, you know. I know, I know. And if you look at that, it's so close. Oh I mean, gosh. Hamza, one point. one point ahead of Molly, and he snuck into the lead on the weekend just gone. And then you've got Molly in second place with 4-5-2. Wow. Fleur chomping at their stilettos with 4-4-9. <laughs> and then in fourth spot, a respectable 4-2-8 is Helen. But I kind of feel that's down to Craig's score a little bit. Of course it is. But Always. is this the closest it's but ever feel, been going I mean, into a final? Look how tight they are. This is going to be a great, great final, I reckon. So are we going to look at them individually now? Yes, yeah, so we'll start with Hamza. So okay. Hamza... Top of our little leaderboard Top between the four of, of them. Yep. I love them two together, don't they? They They're are fantastic. gorgeous, aren't they? He wears a suit so well. Yeah. So Hamza, for me, king of ballroom. He is. Yes. He loves the ballroom. He finds it easier. He mm. loves it. It's that frame. It's that great frame. So this is like the Viennese waltz, your waltz, your tango, your quick step, your foxtrot. And Hamza and Yavita have the highest ballroom average of any of our finalists. But again, and this is a running theme, Jeanette, how Close but is that between the Ricky, four of them? I'm looking at the number, it's literally 0.75 and 0.5, Richie. Can you believe there's only a 0.25 difference between it's like the two? It's like splitting hairs this year. But I feel like if you mention in Hamza, you have to talk about the sheer amount of tens of course. that is being awarded. Look at that, the most amount of tens, and you've got Fleur she's, just behind him. She's not far, is she, Fleur? And even these two. So close. Yes. And it's like that in pretty much every stat that I'm going to show you. But should we look at Hamza week by week? Go on, let's have a look at Hamza. Let's see what his mm. journey has been like. We love that word, yeah. Because week one, he was like one of those greyhounds coming out the traps oh my God, at the racing. Shot, yeah, it was gorgeous in the fox shot. But then a little bit of a dip here. Mm. But I kind of feel like the week when he burst through the glittery doors and said, I've arrived, but not as camp as that. It was week <laughs> four when he did the salsa. <laughs> With the lifts, that and I one. feel like that has gone down in strict, strictly folklore. And he'll be doing that again in, in the, the final. final, and that is going to be a moment. I think it will be, and just goes to show you how much of a jump he had. You know, mm. his confidence really went up, and then he kind of stayed up he there. He didn't Amazing. look back, did he? Because everything from week yeah. four is above a 30. Amazing. Right, what about Marley and Carlos? So if we call in Hamza King of Ballroom, right. oh, that's so gorgeous, they're both so of them, I love them. <laughs> then it's, you have to call Molly the queen of Latin. So yes. Latin is your samba, your paso, your uh -huh. rumba, your jive, and your two, three, cha, cha, cha. cha, cha. You still it's got it. It never left me. It, it never, never leaves, leaves you once you, you've Richie. done it. It never leaves you. Go I mean, on. obviously, I'm not as good as mine. <laughs> uh, she is the queen of Latin going into the final. But again, how close we flow. Very close. And they're all above 30, and it's just so tight between a lot of them. And just to give you an idea of how good Molly has been at Latin this year, right. the highest average ever going into the final for Latin was set last year by John Waite with 36.44. Wow. Excuse me, lady. She's right there. She's pretty much there. She's right there. Right this. behind that. Oh, my God. And what about Molly throughout the series, then? What's her journey been like? Mm, we, when it comes to nines, she's way out front. So when we look at her nines okay. across the series, she's been awarded more of those than anybody oh, else. This I mean, is... there she is. 27 She's nines. in a different postcode. She's on a different Honestly. postcode. You're absolutely right. Wow. And if you look at her across the whole series, so all of her scores from each of the weeks, mm -hmm. what do you notice when you see this? Do you know what? All above 30. Exactly. They're all 30s. Exactly. And that's wow. not to be sniffed at because she hasn't dropped below 30, as you said then, and she's the f they are the first couple to do this since season 14, when both Danny and Oti and Louise and Kevin both made the final 
without dropping below a 30. But Molly had to wait until week eight she until she got her first 10. Do you remember the rumba? Yes. Mm. How can you, can you imagine Molly having to wait till week eight to get a 10? Yeah. But she got it from the queen of Latin oh, herself, yes. didn't she? She did. Shirley Ballard. And she'll be doing that rumba again in the final oh, this weekend. Yes. Not like this. I look like one of them blow up men outside the <laughs> petrol station. But again, it was one of those moments when I saw her do that rumba, I thought this girl this is girl nailed is on what about, for the final. Let's do Team Florito. Fleur that it? and oh. Vito. We love these two. I love them so oh. I love watching them dance because they look so happy they are when they're dancing together. But they've been in the dance off quite a lot. They have. As I've found out in the hard way, my darling. <laughs> but as you can see, since week eight, they've had the most amount of points from the judges. Oh, wow. And that's been helped by their scores in the speciality dances. Uh, so that's like your Charleston, your Argentine tango, couples choice, yes. your American smooth, Angie Salsa. And even though Hamza is in the lead. Still up there. Fleur got 39 for her Charleston. And of course, the only perfect 40 of the series. She oh, got it. She oh, brought yes. it to Blackpool. She brought it in Blackpool, baby. Destiny's Child mashup question. <laughs> and I mean, <laughs> we still talk about it now. Yes. And again, I feel like it was one of those routines. Because I feel like, I don't know about you, mm -hmm. but I always see one routine for all of the finest when I think, they're going all the way. Yeah. All well, the way. Is, and that was it for that them. That was it for them. That mm. dance that they did in Blackpool. Right. Yeah. Let, what about series scores then? Should we see what her scores have been like throughout Again, the series? Again, consistent. It's quite horizontal, that line. The lowest one that she had Still pretty was good. 28. And again, for me, week four, that was the moment when I thought, Fleming's business. That was the Argentine tango. Oh my gosh, oh. yes. That was her first 10, wasn't she it? She came out on fire mm. that night to prove a point. Her feet, her yes. oh, she was powerful. She wasn't one. playing anymore. Yeah, she wasn't. Uh, let's move on now to Helen and Gorka. Oh, Helen I and Gorka. I love these been so good. I love them all. If the I J word could be put in one mm. person, it has to be in this woman, Helen. Well, what a journey. Exactly, and Anton said that on this show a couple of weeks ago. And if you look at her improvement from week one to week 12, it's the biggest one of anyone on the series. In week one, she got 26 for her American Smooth. And then last weekend was her highest one. That was 37 for the Argentine Tango. So that's a jump of 11. Oh my and it gosh. just goes to show that week on week. And we love that with somebody on Strictly who comes at the start. They're learning. They're soaking it in like a sponge, getting better every week. And that is such a jump you could, I think her. you can see her confidence yeah. building oh, as absolutely. the weeks went on and on. And mm. obviously that reflected in the scores then yes. as well. So what was her journey like? What yeah. was her series like? Well, two, she had two 39s, didn't she? So that was for the couple's choice. There they yes. are. And the quick step, but you can see from the graph, she's bit, she's like a jack in the box. She's I know. Down. It's quite but a roller coaster, isn't it? But what I love is the fact that she can go from there to twenty nine, up, up to thirty nine, and that shows resilience. Point jump. Because I know what it's like, Jeanette, when you've not had the scores you want from the judges, you've got to get back in that training room, back on the saddle, and that shows that she's grafted away. Oh she hasn't given up, and there she is, and she's going to be doing the jive again this week in the final. She did that in week seven. I loved her it jive. It was a ten. She got a ten. She did, mm. and I feel like in the jive was a moment again where we really saw yes. Helen finally show up Incredible. and be there in the moment. Again, another fantastic couple, amazing journey. I can't believe how much she's grown throughout the series. Okay, any other points that you want to bring up about the series? I do, because it's been such an interesting series. So okay, it's well worth noting that our first 10 was in week three, and that was Tyler and Diane, and that's the joint earliest 10 in Strictly history, everybody. <laughs> In the history, go we've on, also, I know, go Team on, tie dye. Tie dye. <laughs> and we've also had the highest ever average score at Blackport and the highest ever average score in week 11. Really? So, I mean, who, like this series, the standard has been sky high and it's just so, I can't call it, I can't call it. So, that was going to be my you're next You're looking at me like you're going to ask me to call it. I am going to ask you, you know, know this is like, like burning question. I read you like a bookmark, darling. Who's going to win it? Come on. Oh, I keep changing What's my mind every 10 minutes. Fleur and Vito. Go on, Team Florito. Yes. Well, what is it about Fleur? What, what have you got? I just kind of feel like, I mean, I love them all, yes. and I know how much they've all put into it, but I kind of feel like every time Fleur dances, I go into a trance when I watch her on the television. Yes, I'm mesmerised. You know when you watch The Jungle Book and the snake's eyes move? <laughs> and you know, I'm like that when I watch them. Not comparing them to snakes, I love them both. <laughs> but I just get mesmerised, and they're so fantastic, and everything she does, yeah. she does it with finesse, she's so fierce. Also, but they're all incredible. They're all incredible. Mm. And speaking of all, you're also coming back, because the whole class of 2022 is doing a big group number yes. at the weekend. You've been rehearsing. Yes. Have you seen everybody? How's it been going? Yes, yeah, so I can't say too much, but what I will say is uh, it's camp, it's high tempo, 
I'm the same hot mess that I was in the series, <laughs> and it's going to be good fun. And I'm so, honestly, I can't wait to be back. Oh, I can't wait to watch. I have a feeling this is going to pop up, isn't it? That was can't one of my favorite bits. Say nothing. Okay, <laughs> Richie, you can come back. You know, thank you so much. Thank this you. has been so incredible. Can I stop doing this now? Thank you so much to our stat man, Richie thank Anderson. You. <laughs> <laughs> well, we've just heard that Hamza is our top scoring celeb of the series, and he did himself.